basketball. So many memories, emotions, and nostalgia that comes to my mind whenever I hear that word. A game so simple as a ball and a hoop has in fact changed my life. I've learned how to work hard and earn my minutes. I've learned how to win and I've also learned how to lose. I've learned how to make friends into brothers that will always be by my side. I've learned how to give it my all from the moment I get out of bed to the moment I go back to bed. Most importantly, I've learned how to be a leader and that leads to my question. How can an average basketball player become a leader and an important role player on his or her team without years of basketball knowledge? Leadership is a skill that can be applied to anything in life. It's a skill that is valued in the real world and it shows responsibility and integrity for whatever it is that you do. Leaders are the ones that do the right thing, even when nobody is watching. They're the ones that love the process more than the success. Leaders learn from their mistakes. They say success comes from good decisions. Good decisions come from experience. And experience comes from bad decisions. Leaders lead by example. You must hold yourself accountable before you can hold anyone else accountable. If you expect your players and teammates to be on time, you need to be on time. Leaders have confidence. You have to feel good about yourself to be a good leader. No one is going to follow someone who doesn't believe in themselves. Leaders set a high standard. If you can do everything to your best ability, then you can expect it from those around you. If you're always working hard and putting your heart into every practice, workout, and game, then you can expect your teammates and players to do the same. You want to be the type of leader who raises the level of everyone around you. Leaders put others' needs before their own. Compassion and empathy are extremely important qualities of a leader. You cannot be a selfish leader. Are you playing for the scoreboard or the scorebook? The best way that I've learned to lift a team up as a coach um, when we're losing a game is to try to pull out an emotional response from the players. Um, of course, as a coach, you put in strategic changes and different plays, different sets, etc. Um, all the time. So you're looking to make changes as much as you can. But really the main thing that you can do as a coach is to help motivate the players. And from my experience, the best way that to do that is to pull their emotions out. Because as a coach, you can put in as much passion as you want, but it doesn't matter unless the players are there with you. So generally, um, depending on the, the player uh, and the situation, um, different types of emotional responses may be um, more successful. But if you can pull out some of the passion that the, the players have, um, or maybe sometimes exhibit uh, help them exhibit a little bit of an anger reaction that might really motivate them to play better. So for example, um, you can question if they really care, you can remind them of all the hard work they put in um, or the reasons why they're here um, and I really hope that that internal passion and fight and competitiveness uh, will, will be pulled out from them uh, with as a coach's help uh, and really um, help them perform as a team uh, on the floor. The most valuable lesson that I have learned as a basketball coach is the importance of strong personal relationships um, in team sporting dynamics. So both in terms of um, teammate to other teammates and teammate to the coach. These strong bonds um, on and off the court between two people really foster um, a, a strong team dynamic. And when I say that, I mean that I've learned from experience that a team will only work as hard as they care for their teammates and for their coach. A team will work harder, a team will put in the extra time, will do what it takes to get better as an individual and as a team, and that ultimately will, will play out as team success and individual success. Um, the, the outside factor of playing alongside people who you care about and for a coach that you care about, uh, or from a coaching perspective, um, being able to coach more kids that you care about, uh, it, it really drives um, good 
um, opportunities to work harder than you normally would and to really achieve your, your best. And that strong team dynamic um, really helps to for, for both individuals and for a team to grow and to have success. The time that I had to step out of my comfort zone as a coach, um, which made me a better coach, was um, my first year of coaching. Um, the team was on uh, a not so good of a run and um, I decided uh, that an emotional response for me was, was really required to help pull out um, the best of, of the team. And my, I had never really been a person who, who exhibited emotion um, outwardly very, very often or very easily, very naturally. So um, I really had to, to work hard on um, showing anger and showing passion um, to, to really um, pull out good results from, from the team. Um, and that was something that I eventually became very natural for me as a coach and it was a very valuable skill, um, but just was, was not a comfortable area, a natural area for me, um, something that I had to work on. Becoming a leader and an important player on my team was hard. There's been dozens of times where I wanted to quit and where I questioned why I was even working this hard. I always look back on my goals and ask myself why I wanted to become the best player that I could be. And it was simply for the love I have for the game. I will always know that you can achieve anything you put your mind towards. And trusting the consistent hard work you put in is key to success. I think that my story can be shared towards any audience. Because you don't need to be a basketball player to understand the concepts of leadership and the values that it will bring into your life. The message that I ultimately want to convey for this video is to share my basketball story and about how I learned skills of leadership and holding myself accountable for all of my actions when I'm playing the sport that I love. I hope that I can inspire people to go play a sport and it doesn't necessarily have to be basketball because you can learn how to work together with others and be a leader in any team sport. Since I've started putting together this video, I've learned that passion fuels the game of basketball. It is such a mental game and showing emotions shows that you care and they can either get the best or the worst out of you. It's about how badly you want to win and how you're going to bring up the team's energy level to yours. A challenge that I had to face was figuring out how I was going to present my information in a way that all audiences can appreciate it. And I think I did a good job at making my video unique and professional at the same time. As I put together my video, I reminisced about all the good times that I had playing with all my teammates and it really sucks that we didn't have a season this year. But I am grateful for the amazing four years that I had playing the sport that I love with some of my best friends. In the future, I will always look back at the memories my team and I made winning and overcoming losses. Most of all, I will always remember where I came from and how basketball made me into the person I am today. I never would have thought that a kid shooting in his driveway would learn the principles of life and what it takes to excel to your fullest potential with a ball and a hoop.